during canals is considered trespassing. And earlier this evening, Scott was talking about more rain on yeah. the way. Yeah, and that's always the big question this time of year. It's the temperatures and the rainfall. It's not going to get real hot anytime soon, so that's good news. You get a gradual snow melt, but you don't want to accelerate that with rainfall. And let's take a look at Precision Live Doppler right now. We are seeing some precipitation tracking on in. I don't expect any significant amount. In fact, overnight tonight, it shouldn't be too much. It's mostly ground clutter showing up in Canyon County, but there are showers in eastern Oregon. And you know what? It's going to rain and then turn to snow up in the McCall area. So there's actually going to be snow tonight, so we won't get any snow melt uh, in that respect overnight tonight. But that precipitation will come through tonight. We're going to get more on Thursday, and that's what we're going to have to watch very closely to be sure that it's not too much rain. Right now, I don't expect it to be a significant amount that would cause them to make the river rise higher. But again, the snowpack is at 82% of average. We've talked about that. Uh, let's switch computers. I want to show you what that means. At Moores Creek Summit, see that red line right there? That red line is the curve is coming right back down. Basically, what we have there is that's the amount of water that's in the snowpack. This is the average line, so typically we have this much water in the snowpack, which is closer to 32 inches over here. We actually only have 21 inches because we had that rapid snow melt. It's beginning to slow its pace just a little bit, but we still have this much more melting to go at this site, and at some places at 9,000 feet, we're talking just 35 inches of water content. So again, there's a lot of precipitation or a lot of moisture up there that is basically going to have to come down, and so we want it to come down gradually so we don't have too many issues with that. We'll take a look at that forecast. And again, what I'm expecting to happen here over the next few days is that we stay cool for a while. We get a little bit of rain on Thursday and Friday, but after that, I still think we have a possibility of some dry weather coming back in over the weekend, although on Saturday there might be a chance for a rain shower or two, but I don't think anything major will come out of that. And as we take a look at that forecast chart, look at this. You'll see here dry weather to the south, but there are still showers to the north, and this storm system is sitting right here getting ready to move in. This is going to be now for Thursday. So we're it says Wednesday night, but that's going to be more towards the west. But on Thursday, it will come through. I don't expect it to sit and stall right over. That's when I would be concerned about significant rain. I think this one will move on through, although there's more showers behind it. So the rain threat is now Thursday and Friday. And you'll see here, a lot of part of the week, it's because the jet stream is still right here across the northwest. Now, earlier it looked like we'd get a pool of cool air sitting right over us with rain rotating around us on Saturday. It doesn't look that dramatic right now. So let's hope for the best here that keep these storms progressive. A little bit of moisture is good. Not significant amount is uh, certainly good news for the river. Lots of sunshine tomorrow. We may get a shower overnight tonight, but 58 degrees. Look at these low temperatures, 39 in Meridian and Caldwell. I do believe we're going to have a chilly morning everywhere across the state. In the West Central Mountains tomorrow, check, check this out in the McCall. 28 degrees for the low and some light snow overnight tonight. Rain will turn to snow, and I think there'll be snow on the ground in McCall tomorrow. Not a lot, but a little. And up in the Brundage Mountain area, it could be a few inches. Now, Garden Valley, Idaho City, Crouch, Pine, Featherville, you're likely to see a couple of rain showers overnight tonight. Maybe a snow flurry mixed in, uh, but then it'll basically be partly cloudy tomorrow. 45 in Staley tomorrow and in Sun Valley, could be a few snow showers around as well. Blustery and chilly in the Magic Valley with mostly sunny skies. We're 55 to 58, and that precision extended forecast doesn't have any average weather until we get towards Monday and Tuesday of next week. So it's going to be cool. Sunshine tomorrow, rain Thursday, showers Friday and Saturday. The jury is not out yet on Saturday. I'm going to update you <laughs> tomorrow. So come back tomorrow and I will let you know about the weekend. It will be cool, but today was cool and it, the weekend yeah, could be just like right. today and that wouldn't be bad. Yeah. It's about that wind you always talk about. Wind is key. It was so calm and yeah. nice tonight, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. yeah. All right. Thanks, Scott. In case you missed tonight,